Hello everyone, welcome to another Stable Diffusion tutorial. This is going to be a quick one. Uh, today I will show you how to use VAE to improve eyes and faces. Now what is a VAE? This is a partial update in Stable Diffusion models that will make rendering eyes better. As you can see right here, the render will look uh, better and much better. As you can see, I will explain what VAE is. So basically, uh, it is a variation autoencoder. It's basically part of the neural network model that encodes and decodes the images, right? So it renders the images, especially the eyes, right? As you can see right here. Um, so basically, do you need VAE? You don't need to install a VAE file to run stable diffusion. Any models you use, uh, you know, whether that's a V1 or V2, or custom already comes with a default VAE, right? So when people say downloading and using a VAE, they refer to using an improved version of it, right? So basically, as you can see, here's the comparison below, right? For example, we have Gladys, for example, from here, from here, you can see how it's changing from here to, you know, the la latest version, right? So basically, this is what, uh, you know, how VAE is working in um, stable diffusion, right? So how to use a VAE, right? So you actually need to download a VAE, right? So here's the download link for EMA VAE or MSE VAE. So basically these are all the same, right? As you can see, we have, um, you know, EMA or MSE, right? So EMA is probably the best one to do, right? So you can download that. And then as you can see, if you want to install it, right, you need to go and you need to place the downloaded VAE files to the directory, right? Which is this right here. And then for Linux and Mac OS, right? For your convenience, right? Running the commands below in Linux or Mac OS, right? Uh, under the stable diffusion web UI directory, uh, you know, make sure to copy this, right? So once you copy this, you can actually use the VAE, right? You need to go to settings tab and find the section called SDVAE, or you can use control F if you, you know, cannot find it. And that's pretty much it, right? You know, you press the big red apply settings button and you should see the message settings SDVAE applied, right? In the settings tab, when the loading is successful, right? So that's pretty much it. Summary, you know, pretty much that's it. You need to go here and download it and just follow the steps in order to add VA in stable diffusion. Other than that, um, you know, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next video.